What's good, YouTube? This so Mommy is saying you already know the vibes. You feel me? We back with another reaction. This is a Sean Campbell video. Now he about to speak on what I already did a video on. Uh the New York mayor, um, Eric uh Adams, you know what I'm saying, showing all social media platforms. We talk about YouTube, we talk about TikTok, we talk about Snapchat, all that. You feel me? He's trying to get all the coins, all the points he can. So that's what's going on. Now Hassan finally speaking on this subject. Usually he'd be quick on his feet, but uh today, you know, he a little late because I already did it, but here we are, reacting to his reaction. I'm saying, before I press play on this video, subscribe to my channel. You heard, put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button, turn on your post notifications, which is the bell so I can get notified when I drop all of these videos. You feel me? So let's just get right into it real quick. Are you really trying to sue, sue TikTok? Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube? Are you really suing these platforms for having a bad influence on our children? And not the record industries? So you're mad because our children are subway surfing on your watch, on your police. See, that's a security. Security, security, security. That is a security problem. Now, nah, instead certain, of you certain using certain. Your, your your Mayor Adams, instead of you using your police to run up in tenement buildings and run up in the projects five o'clock in the morning, locking our children up, why don't you use your police to safeguard the subways to make sure those children don't get on top of the trains? Mayor Adams, are you really, really, really trying to sue? The social media platforms, because the kids are subway surfing. So you mean to tell me, May Adams, mm -hmm. remember that meeting that you had with Mayno, Fabio Foreman, and the rest of the rappers? And instead of you suing these corporations, because our children. Yeah, I knew it was Fabio. I spoke on this. If y'all didn't see this video that I did, go to, go to, scroll down on the channel. Go to the... Uh, Mayor um Eric uh, Mayor Eric Adams suing social media. I did a video on that. You know what I'm saying? I broke that down. These in. teenagers, these gangbangers, these gangbangers was going to the studio. They were making rap records, dissing each other, dissing the dead. Then they would leave the studio two days later and hit them in the head with the. They get their snap box rocked. Next thing you know, the ops. Is in the studio making a disc record. Then the next thing you know, they getting they snot box rocks. So we became <laughs> a pandemic within the pandemic during the pandemic. And instead of you putting your foot down on those corporations that was making these children rich for turning these other's TVs off, rocking each other's snot box, hit them in the head with the head with the headshot. Instead of you putting a stop to it, you sat down. With Mano, Fabio Foreign, and a bunch of other rappers. And next thing you know, all the gangs went to prison. Yo, that's crazy. Did I just say it? Bro, that's, that is, that's, yeah. I feel like one of my um supporters definitely uh said that in the comment section. For sure, yeah. Exactly Did what I just you say said. That? Did I do that? Yeah, I just said that. You sat down. When did gangbangers, gangster rappers, start sitting down with top cops? When did the when did the streets approve of this? Yeah, I know civilians sit down with police. They supposed to. Civilians sit down with the mayor. I know they supposed to. But gangbangers, the numbers with the mayor. Have a conversation with you in Harlem about. Okay. Yo, that's Jim Jones. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got to talk. Nah, hold on, bro. That's Jim Jones. What? Hold on, we gonna go back. Numbers. 
with the mayor? Uh, a conversation with you in Harlem about okay. I know a lot of people talk about Harlem, but my efforts for Harlem is always in Harlem. Mm -hmm. I've been the most conventional, but I take care of a lot of people in Harlem, and I take care of our neighborhood. Let's do it. Not Let's do it. Our neighborhood. You see my number, and next week you in town next week, or you yes. perform somewhere. I'm here. Okay. And next week, let's connect. All right. What do you guys say? Good idea well, is. Where, where, where? When did gangbangers, I mean, trying to network rappers, from. start sitting down with top cops? <laughs> when did the when did the streets approve of this? What? I know so hold on, but like bro, like it's the mayor though. I mean, maybe he trying to do something in the community. Be listen, people are always talking about rappers don't do nothing for the community, they don't give back to anything, they just worry about themselves. You feel me? Like maybe you know, he trying to network. Like <laughs> I mean, Jim Jones, he old too. He old just like the son. You feel me? Let me know in the comment section. Civilians right? sit down with police, they supposed to. Civilians sit down with the mayor. I know they supposed to. But you got gangbangers swapping numbers with the mayor? <laughs> gangbangers. No gangbangers who basically got 20-year runs, Jim Jones, in the streets promoting death to our children. But you suing YouTube? <laughs> Am I bugging people? Am I bugging? These old school rappers have been signed by evil to keep up a gangster persona so that our children won't grow into grown men, but yet they'll look like 40 and 50 year old thugs. Like them bum ass YouTubers running around talking about they the 40 year old, the 40 something year old hooligan. What? Take the what? And live the what? A caterpillar. Turns into a butterfly. A young black boy turns into a real nigga. A young black girl turns into a bad bitch. That's why we doomed. The priorities is messed up. Instead of Mayor Adams going after these going after these corporations for pushing and promoting. Lyrical homicide to our children? You want to make up an excuse to basically stop people's money because that's what you're doing. You're being slick and underhanded because if you if, if you win these lawsuits, that means that these corporations, Instagram, YouTube, they're going to cut back on paying. Say what? Bloggers, Snapchatters, TikTokers. Do you, uh, I'm going to stop it right here real quick. <clears throat> y'all let me know in the comment section. Do y'all think, like, do y'all think this would actually, like, go through, you feel me? And, like, let, like let, let's say he do actually sue all these social media, social media platforms, you feel me? Do y'all think that it will affect the content creators that, that really, you know, like, do this for full time? You know what I'm saying? This is what they do all day for their job. You feel me? Like, all day. Y'all see... Passing that stream for, for hours at a time, like 10 hours sometimes. Like Ian Ross, all of them, you know what I'm saying? Me, I'm doing my little thing here, you feel me? Like, y'all think it's going to affect everybody? Y'all let me know in the comment section, right? I mean, you already flooding the community with these border jumpers. I am here to tell you today. Yeah, everybody's talking about that too, right? I didn't do a video on that. I was, but I didn't know because they had a lot of violence on it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like YouTube. He put it in his video, but everybody don't get the same treatment as small creators. You know what I'm saying? So with these border jumpers, safe for the channel, bro. With these illegals, you already a flood in our community, and then you got the nerve to have the police running down on the dudes that's selling. They merchandise on tables outside. 
And then you got the nerve to have the police running down on the dudes that's selling their merchandise on tables outside. So we could go to jail for trying to feed our families. You got dudes going to jail for trying to feed their family by selling their merchandise outside on the street corner. Legal stuff. Yo, and the We're thing is, the carpet. and the thing is, man, people been doing that for years and years and years, bro. Like, seriously, getting locked up. But for selling stuff on the side of the street, I mean, like, that's ridiculous, though. Come on, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of cops go see see one of them, see a bag or something, you know what I mean? You feel me? Like, see something they like. I bet you when they don't have a badge on, they shopping too outside, you know, you feel me? Like, how they be doing, like. For illegals, I'm sick. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of the bull crap because the reality of it is if the mayor wanted to attack something, the number one thing to attack is these corporations and these gangster rappers with these evil ass lyrics. Yo, yo, I saw I hate rappers, bro. Like, like he, he, really, he really do, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. Shit is ridiculous. Little boys can't become grown men because they don't know what a grown man look like. Dudes is 50 and 60 years, 40, 50 and 60 years old, still outside hugging the block. Yo. He's gonna, he's gonna, yo, he's gonna always come for Jim Jones too, bro. I will, I will wonder how that conversation would go if he was to see Jim Jones. Uh, outside on the street, <laughs> like for real, bro. I know Jim Jones probably fed up. You know what y'all think in the comment section, man? Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, and pay attention to your circle before they earth you. Nah, but that's it, though. Um, <clears throat> y'all let me know in the comments. You feel me? Um, like I said, I did a video on Mayor Adams already, so y'all go check that out. And um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, before y'all head out, subscribe to my channel. You heard. If put your chest in it if you have it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. Let's get it.